So what happens if you want to install software that's um, not available in the Ubuntu software um, store? Um, what we do is that we download the package and install it directly. So here, for example, if I uh, want to use Chrome as an alternative uh, browser to uh, Firefox on Ubuntu, uh, I start up the um, uh, Ubuntu software and search for Chrome. And the best it can come up with is a browser called Chromium. Now, Chromium is a, um, a predecessor to Chrome. And it's the open source version of the browser. So, for example, the latest Microsoft Edge is based on Chromium. They use Chromium um, source code as a start to create their new Edge browser. Um, and to be honest, um, if you use Chromium, it's just fine. It's a, a valid enough browser. Um, but uh, uh, Chromium is not Chrome. And if you want to use uh, Chrome with all its full-fledged features, then you will have to install it separately so let's do that so if we go and close down um, software and open up uh, Firefox we can um, search for Chrome Chrome download Linux and we click on this third one, third result, and scroll down to install Chrome on Linux. So it gives you the link. It says ins download the install file. And we open it up and we click on um, install and it gives us a, a choice of packages to download 64bit.dev is what we need because um, Ubuntu uh, as it says here it's um, for Ubuntu the other option is an RPM package and that is for um, a Red Hat based distribution Fedora and OpenSUSE, it gives two examples there. So if we click accept and install, um, let's see what happens uh, if we open it with the default software install. We click OK, and it says at the top here that it's ready, but then when we go to uh, Ubuntu software, it says fail to install the file, not supported. So we don't know what's going on there. W I've had this um, strange, uh, strange error before. And if we just minimize that for a second and dismiss that error message and start up Ubuntu software and search for Chrome has it installed or not so no it does not come up with Chrome so we go to um, show application and let's see if it appears here which it doesn't either. So it has actually failed. So we um, try that again. So we open up and in the top right here, we s we got to download Chrome. And this time using um, the right package, we save the file instead. 
So now that's downloaded. You can see if we open the file, open the um, location of the file, we see it's there. So if we double click on the package that is downloaded, it should install. Now, as you can see, um, it opens up a new uh, application and it starts installing it. In fact, it is the same Ubuntu um, software application that is actually installing the browser at the moment. No idea why the automatic download and uh, open in an application did not install. But here, t here it is, if you manually double click on the .deb file, it's installed just fine. So we let that um, install, and uh, it finishes, and uh, we can dismiss the installer, and we can go to show application, and we see it there. We right click on it, add to favorites, it appears down here as a shortcut. So now we can open um, we can open um, Chrome. Now this uh, pop-up window has just uh, opened on my second screen that's why you couldn't see it. So here it wants me to make it the default browser which I don't and it wants us to automatically send statistics to Google, which I don't. So untick those two options and do OK. And it starts up. And we have um, the proper Chrome running on Ubuntu. So the nice thing about Chrome is that um, you can log into Chrome and it will pick up all your um, add-ons and um, bookmarks and other settings from uh, another Chrome um, uh, another Chrome browser on another um, OS that you've used it before but um, if we don't we if we don't it want it to do that we leave it alone and we just use it as um, normal so can just skip all this and there you go the default um, landing page is uh, the search engine itself good um, why did we need to install Chrome um, so Chrome is um, quite a good browser and it's supported by lots of um, websites and it's an alternative and a faster browser than um, Firefox. 